that's uh I don't have any more money than I had before I signed it, so that's fair. kicks in kicks in next year. So um what's it like though to, to have the security of that and to know that this team believes that you earned it? No, it's a it's a it's a really good feeling. Um you know, when I came here I had a dream of, you know, getting paid, you know, by the heat and, and being here for a while. Um, and bringing the championship here. Um, we've, we've came close, but we haven't gotten there yet. And to be locked in for the next five years means a lot to me because, you know, the, the goal is still to win a championship, and we feel like we, we can do that. You talked last week about how you felt. Just you value yourself. You looked at some other players in the league. You thought you deserved in a certain place. Do you figure this sort of hit that sweet spot? And is there any sort of awe at just the number? Um, I mean, it was a number I couldn't pass up. You know, it wasn't worth going into restricted free agency next summer. And at the end of the day, this is this is where I want to be. Um, so, like I said, it was a number I couldn't pass up, and this is where I want to be. So it made sense. Did you wear last green week. on purpose? No. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, last week you said you wanted to be longer. Mm -hmm. How much of this is just talent and kind of showing you, you know, what this organization is going to No, yeah, like I said, you know, it means a lot. And, um for them to, to extend me, you know, af after my third year. Um, not a lot of guys out of each draft class. I think there's like, you know, four or five guys e each year that get extended. So, you know, to, to come to get the extension from the Heat, you know, after my third year and, you know, be one of the guys, few guys out of my draft class to get extended, it means a lot. And um, it's just the beginning. You know, we got to continue to put the work in and um, continue to get better. No, I'm, I'm comfortable with, the, with that group. Um, Obviously, it's not going to look like mid-season form right now if, the, if that is the unit that, that I'm in. But, um, you know, it's going to take some adjusting. And, you know, for me, playing off the ball will be a little different um, to, to start games if that is, you know, what happens. Um, but like I said, it's an adjustment. we got a lot of good players on the team that can, you know, make each other better. And at the end of the day, we'll get better as the season goes on. Uh, I mean, they all reached out, which meant a lot. And then. Caleb said I have to buy the whole team Rolexes now, so <laughs> I told I shut that down quick though. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, that that was funny when he texted me that. <laughs> did you have the the GIF ready to go just in case it happened, or did that just sort of the last minute you saw bugs and you said I can't pass that up? <laughs> no, it was I was just having some fun. Um, one of my boys had had it ready for me, so no, I had it. But it was it was just fun. I'm just having fun. Yeah, it was uh, amazing. You know, we last year I think we had to do it upstairs with not as many people just because of of COVID and stuff. So it was good to to get everyone in the arena. Um, and then obviously for a good cause, you know, there's nothing better, you know, to celebrate a, a new season and and also have it for a good cause. So it was it was good.